All right, everybody. Welcome. I'm excited for this. We've got ourselves some historical battles in AoE 3 DE. I don't know what to expect with these. I've been anti-spoilered. I don't really know what to, what to expect. I don't know how many are, there are. I don't know how hard they are. Other than this one, I don't know what they are. Wait, no, I, I know one more, but that's it. And uh, this, as far as I'm aware, this is like the only like new campaign, quote unquote. Uh, even with some of the name changes and whatever, the core gameplay of all the, the original campaigns, which I have now completed, uh, they are uh, the same. So yeah, let's see what the, the new, you know, 10, 13 years of scenario making with AoE 3 has, uh, has given us. So yeah, let's go. Algiers 1516, Civilization, Barbary Pirates. I guess this just means Ottomans. It should be the Ottomans. Um, or something like that, I don't know. Protagonist, uh, Hizir and Uruk race. An enemy civilization, Spanish. In the 16th century, privateering in the Mediterranean flourished as a result of the staunch rivalry between the Ottoman Empire and the European Christian states. Famous Barbary corsairs like Hayreddin Barbarossa and his brothers gained infamy because of their great success while privateering. In 1516, the brothers managed to take the city of Algiers, deposing its former ruler and creating their own Barbary pirate state. However, the Spanish were not going to let a pirate state exist so close to their homeland and sent a large army with, to deal with the Barbary threat and acquire the city of Algiers. We are on hard difficulty. That is the hardest. Um, this is the same thing. And we have a British flag for some reason. Uh, oh, okay, everything just took a second to render. Anyway, we're definitely under attack. Looks like we got two heroes. We are in quite the predicament, you don't the say. The Spanish may have surrounded the city, but I have a plan. I have sent men to the Ottoman Sultan to ask for help. Inshallah, the Sultan will send an army. We must hold on um, until that help arrives. Don't lose your town center. Noted. Barbary Corsairs, Barbary Pirates. Huh. Um. Um. The Spanish have constructed siege camps outside of the city gates. As long as they stand, we cannot venture out into the countryside. Noted. Okay, we do have some water. I mean, Algiers is a port. Unless I'm very mistaken. Hey, okay, we have a couple docks. Oh, okay, they have a thingy over here. As long as the Spanish blockade the harbor, we will be unable oh. to receive shipments from our pirate base in Churchill. Oh, okay, so I guess we'll go get some... Wait, Berber Archer? I don't know these units. I know the Barbary Corsairs. Those are mercenaries, and those look like they're the same. I don't know Berber archers. Maybe they're a new unit? Berber spearmen, naturally. Uh, again, a new unit. This is pretty cool. Like, they, actually, they obviously put some thought into this. Anyway, let's get a couple of our own ships. So yeah, I guess we're not Ottomans. We're actually Barbary pirates. And that's pretty cool. So what does this civ have? Tribal horseman. Bedouin horse archer. Uh, we have our... Ber oh, those guys are so cheap. And then we have a Berber archibruiser. I, I guess that's just a, sk a skirmisher. Archibuzier. 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 Oops. And the Barbary Corsair. That is actually not all that expensive, uh, considering it's, you know, a mercenary unit. And they're pretty good. They're very fast, they have lots of melee armor. They're like, uh, super rotal arrows. Anywho. We have five ships here. There are five ships there. Let's wait for, like, one more. And send some people over to... 
Wood. Baruch Rice. Race. Lightning fast blow with the Kleege strikes down a single enemy in melee. So you can attack the damage. Okay, so that one's an area of effect. What's our other guy do? Oh, he can train Barbary Corsairs. And he has a one-shot kill. Okay. I don't know if these guys are like reskins of other units, but I still think I still think it's cool. Also, we are only in the second age. Yeah, I'm getting some more pirates, corsairs, dudes. And it's going to be really slow growing our economy without any shipments. So maybe I can try and take the fight? Maybe if I hashtag believe? They don't have any upgrades as far as I can tell. But let's see if they actually use their abilities. Uh, yeah, we're just clearing out this camp. Oh, these guys are also finding a way to attack us. Get him. Okay, let's scoot our way over here. What, why can't I? Oh, wait. That was weird. Why can I not select these guys? What? Okay, the, the clicking box or whatever. Okay, but those guys should be able to win. Anyway, it looks like we're cleaning up this camp, no problem. Nice. Whoa. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Bird comes from the Ottoman Sultan. He is eager to help, but fears that our cause is doomed. Prove to him that the city's defense is not hopeless, and he will send his army and fleet. Noise. Earn 15,000 XP to obtain Ottoman help. Uh, I guess I'm not really gathering any... hunt. Just getting... Some settler shipments. Okay, I guess we're not able to go to the fourth age at all. But yeah, this is cool. I really like this so far. Oh, there's villagers? Nice. I'm a little bit worried about the defenses of the city being rather not that good. Wonder if we're at our pop cap. Like, we only have 150 pop. Most of the AOE 3 scenarios, you get more. I mean, we're going to need to find some more lumber campy places. Okay, there's also some Ibex we can take. Uh oh, I thought those guys were stuck. Ah! Ah! Let's get some horsey dudes. And, like, these guys are super cheap. Uh, what to get? What to get? Um, for now... Let's just get some resource crates. Okay, let's go down this way. Guardian attack, hand attack... I, again, I still don't know the difference between these two. Oh. Maybe we should send some galleys. You said it, his ear. Get him. Okay, we do have 200 pop by the looks of things. Uh, 
Excellent. Oh, I guess that's not in range. I'll take it. I assume we'll be needing to use our navy. Okay, that's doing what that's supposed to be doing. Get some more horsies. Get some food shipments. I mean, we have a lot of water shipments too, so that would also lend credence to that concept. Yeah, definitely get armor, armor plating when we can. Oh, our army count's not looking that great. I mean, our units are pretty cheap and weak. Uh, I might distance some guys out to hunt. Ooh, we also have only one gold mine. Uh, but there's one out here. Uh, I guess we can get that guy now. Yeah, these guys are very weak. Wait, why did they stop attacking? That was so weird. Oh. Screw up our army. Uh, no. In a sense, yes, but also, uh, no. Yeah, let's try and save up for Castle Age. Fortress Age. I'm sorry that I will... I have been and will very, very likely continue to mispronounce every single AoE terminology and replace it with the corresponding A we do terminology because um I'm a, I'm a boomer at heart. A gooner. The Goonies. Why not go back to your peaceful lives as good brothers? The life of a sea dog yields only a gruesome demise. Well, you know, we thought about it. But we ultimately decided that, sure, why not? Okay, we've destroyed two of the camps. Ah! Get him! Oh, we are unable to make more guys. Whoa, privateers are expensive. Oh, uh, let's click up. Where's my market? Oh, here it is. Age up very fast, one galley, cords of 400 wood, two corsairs, and a privateer. Uh, let's go with that one. Can we make a mill? Yes, we can. I guess let's get that one. Oh yeah, let's get our ship upgrades. Whoa, I saw some some cannons. I could probably get like a third barracks. Just because our units are so cheap. Even the Corsairs are pretty cheap. Oh! Didn't know these guys were doing their thing. Oh, whoops. Did I hit something? Okay. Um, okay, this is another village that I suppose we should liberate. I'll get another stable, too. Just make, trying to make sure that nobody gets blocked. Armor plating. Emrin? And we can get veteran upgrades. So that's good news. Oh, even for our Corsairs. Evet. 
Evet. I'm pretty sure this, these are the Ottoman voice lines, but that's fine. Atsili. Can I make um, plantations, estates? See, I can't even call stuff by the correct AOE 3 name. How am I supposed to call them by the correct AOE 2 name? Or whatever. You guys get the idea. Ooh. Janissary. We can't even make Janissaries. I mean, we can get them shipped, but we can't make them. All right, let's go. No extra TCs, I assume? Yeah. Oh, hey. Mamluks? Oh, those guys are so OP. Actually, I think they probably got nerfed. They had to have gotten nerfed. Yeah, they used to have like over a thousand HP, I think. Like, the, the unit was actually silly. And 40% range resistance. It was actually ridiculous. Still, I imagine they are still very good. Can you range? Get him! Got him! Get him, got him, gone! Onward and upward. Uh-oh. Oh! More units. Uh, attack, please. Thank you very much. Then we can go for some horsey archers. I doing again? Oh yeah, I was getting that guy. Oh, let's get two falconuts. Just be good to have some cannon. Okay, we got we liberated all the villages. Good to know. Let's make some horsey archers. I guess get some more riders. Yeah, these guys can be upgraded more. This is cool. It's like I'm playing as a, you know, its own unique civilization. Anyway, there's some uh, plantations here. Like, I don't know, especially since you don't even get to play as Berbers in AoE 3, whereas you could play them in AoE 2. Wait, how'd you get all the way over there? You know what? Less questions asked, the better. Anyway, our economy is growing steadily. We cannot advance to the fourth age as suspected. Which makes sense. We're only in 1516. We're still, like, within that, uh, sort of boundary area between AoE 2 and AoE 3 time frame. Ah! Ah! Okay, here's some army. Go bail out those villagers. One more house. Let's get just another estate. 
Estate. Um, warship attack. Sounds good. Bedouin horse archer. Um, these guys... Oh, wait, they have a lot of melee armor. I was going to say they're regular cav archers. I don't think cav archers have that much melee armor. Okay, there seems to be a big Spanish base over there. We can destroy the four Spanish forts around the city, forcing them to abandon the siege. Noted. Wait a minute. Not available until age four. We can't even get to age four. Freaking jebated. Whoa, look at those guys spazzing out. Okay, let's back up a little bit over here. Okay. Sorry about that. Both my parents decided to just barge on in. Oh, our population has seen better days. Yeah, these seem pretty long. I'll probably limit them to one per video. Level 3 home city pog. So I guess we kind of need to hold on until we get 15,000 XP. That seems like so much. But I guess we can switch over to more gold intensive units. Maybe we can start to work away. I don't know how good even fully upgraded chips are. Ah! So, to be honest, I'm not entirely sure what to do. Yeah, those guys are just skirmishers. Okay, let's let's give these guys a go. Okay, yeah. Sustained attacks definitely can work. Oh, two falconets. Okay, yeah, this is this is definitely something that can work. Probably not against the fort, but in general perhaps. Anyway, let's start there seems to be a trade route over here, so maybe we can go secure that. 
that'll certainly help in terms of experience and uh, help work us towards bringing down the forts. Yeah, I really like this so far. Ah, here we are. We should destroy their trading cons and use the trade route to supply our men instead. I agree. I mean, you gotta stick to mostly Barbary Corsairs when playing as the Barbary Corsairs. Uh, can both? Okay, so they both can build trading posts. There is no honor in being a pilot. Give up now, and we may spare some of you. Maybe, probably not. Oh boy, it's hard to find space in a city for mass agricultural product or production. Who would have thought? Let's get one of you up. Yeah, I'm hesitant to ship the Janissary just because like I can't even get them to veteran. Trust me, it, it it normally does not take me a lot of convincing to be making some Janissaries. But, uh, in this particular instance, when we're not even playing as Ottomans, <laughs> seems a little sus. The Spanish have stored large amounts of gunpowder close among the feathers. Let us blast them to pieces and deprive the Spanish of their entire power. Okay, what do we what do we need to do? I was not at all paying attention. Oh, okay, there's some gunpowder. I assume that will just give us some EXP. Yeah, take out the cannon. Yeah, there's definitely a lot to these. Now I'm like really excited to do all of these. I have no idea how many there are, but I assume maybe like six to eight. I think that's a pretty good, pretty good bet. Let's make that thing go boom. An enemy fishing ship? What are you doing over here? Oh, you want to fight, bro? Ooh, looks like they have all upgrades. Oh, these guys actually cost more gold. Okay, let's try to keep our falconets alive, at least in terms of killing stuff that is not forts. They should be more than sufficient. Alright, well, we've gotten most of the important ones. Wait, do these not cost gold? But they normally cost gold. Hence the whole mercenary concept. Um, I have no idea what that did. Oh wait, we got the... You got the XP. Our Sultan is a Ooh, man of his word. It's 
Okay, so we have a lot of stuff. Oh, Dash is excited about something. Uh, some galleons. Oh, and these can actually make Ottoman units. But it's probably not going to be enough to, like, win the scenario outright. Although, obviously, we are uh, well put on our path to doing so. I mean, we have that, six, seven falconets. Oh, let me get my door. Okay. Evet. Evet. Doru. Uh, I don't know if all of these forts are going to be walled. Well, there's only one way to find out. Yep. Well, let's, uh, let's knock, knock, knock. Now we can get Janissary Combat and feel like it's doing something good. Oh, there's the entrance. Whatever. But it's still likely going to take us a hot second to actually get through everything. Yeah, we're already below max pop. Although, it's all about keeping all these Falconets alive. Wait, we can make Mamelukes now? And we can make Janissaries? Yo. I'm just going to make an army of exclusively Mamelukes. It's like I'm playing Saladin. That's sick. Artillery Foundry. Oh, we can make Abus guns? Aw, oh, feels good, man. I love me some Abus guns. They're like super mega turbo skirms. Also, I forgot to build an arsenal like this entire time. But that's all right. I'm sure it's uh, no less than you expected. One fort down. Northward. Let's get some more chips, shall we? Oh, you are stuck as hell. I won. Get some of those guys. Yep, gonna be another fort over here, and then there's a fort over here, and a fort over there. Oh, hey, man. And I'm like, man. Do you... There's a random mortar, okay. Yeah, having all these Mamluks is so feels good, man. Oh, hey, look at all these upgrades. I should have gotten a very long time ago. Are you harder? I just get a random trading post because why not? Wowzers! 
Send at least some of the army over there. Again, let's get more of our army that comprises almost exclusively of Mamelukes and some Janissaries. And maybe some Abu's guns. Oh, we are out of fish. Go over this way. Okay, that's a pretty decisive win by the looks of things. Okay, let's move you guys forward a bit. More Janissary. Oh man, Ottomans are my favorite Civ. Hands down in this game. Some of my other favorites would be Japanese and Portuguese and Dutch. Also, I, I'd like, uh, I've only played a little bit of it, but I like Swedes. The, the new one. Or one of the new ones. I, I do not like Incas. Oh, man. Not that I, I mean, I really haven't played them much, but uh, facing them on in ranked is uh, not fun. I literally lost my TC. I was playing a team game with Lita Court and T West, uh, people you probably know. Literally lost my TC in three and a half minutes to Incas. It was the, one of the most cancerous things ever. Halfway there? Onward and upward. Oh, here's some galleys. Some galleys. So, like, I'm, I'm needing to replenish the army that, you know, we got from the Ottomans, but the Ottomans just give us so many... It's kind of like they, they're getting us into a position where, you know, it's almost impossible for us to to lose, you know, knock on wood and all that. Oh, I need to get counter infantry rifling if I don't have that, and I do not. Helps uh, Abu's guns. Let's go see if maybe these guys can take out the dudes over here. Eh, they're mostly crossbows and pikemen. Yeah, 945 HP for Mamelukes now. Like, that's about as much as, like, fully upgraded uh, gendarme uh, cuirassiers for French. Oh, that's not great. Oh yeah, this one, that one wasn't walled. This one is very obviously walled, and it seems to be, like, the main one. Also, these were, like, a decent challenge, too. I mean, it, this wasn't, like, super hard. But it wasn't like, you know, the enemies were pushovers. Oh, there are some more dudes over here. Whoops, never saw those guys. Hila Maraca. It sounds like they're saying Maraca. I assume they're just speaking modern Arabic. Uh, might want to get a few more cannons. Get him! Got 
got him. That makes three forts, Hazir. Push on, my Barbary brethren. We are almost there. Commander. Okay, one more. One more castle. Fort. Definitely a fort. Now I kind of like wish the Civ was in the like multiplayer. Being able to train like Mamelukes and stuff. Oh, actually, I wonder what they did with the uh, the revolution mechanic. There used to be a mechanic in the game. Um, I don't know if it still is. I, I literally, that's how little attention I've paid to it. Um, where, like, instead of going to the Imperial Age, you could, like, revolt. And you get, like, one of the Latin American countries, or, like, the U.S. or Haiti or something. I guess Haiti is technically Latin American. Um, but yeah. But it would be, like, a super all-in. It would, like, change all of your villagers into colonial militia. And then, like, you would lose your home city and just get like, some other stuff. I don't know. I never really used it. Maybe they... Um, maybe they changed it or something. But yeah, maybe like Barbary Pirates could be like an option for Ottomans. And you can like train Mamelukes and all these guys and stuff. Eight Falcon Hats. Get him! Your Rotolero will not be enough. Get him! The last Spanish port is in our grasp. With Algiers secure, we can now continue our raids along the European coast with impunity. No town or village will be too small to raid. I don't know why the voice line didn't play, but I read it for you, so I guess it's okay. We get a little post cin cinematic too. To take Algiers by force, the Spanish have no other choice than to abandon the long and exhausting siege. The city remained in the hands of the two corsair brothers, Hizir and Oruz. But rather than keep the title of Sultan of Algiers, the brothers handed the city over to the Ottomans, becoming governors of Algeria under Ottoman protection. The Spanish feverishly sought to take the city again and again. Even though all of their attacks failed, Oruz was eventually struck down in battle. Despite, or perhaps due to the loss of his older brother, his ear continued the fight against the Spanish. Working his way up the Ottoman chain of command, he eventually became Grand Admiral of the Ottoman fleet. He struck a decisive blow against the Christian Holy League at Preveza in 1538, earning himself the nickname Heyredin Barbarossa, best of the faith and the red-bearded. Under his command, the Ottoman navy dominated the Mediterranean for many decades. Well, that was nice. Like, a little cinematic. Um, you know, a little bit of actual history. You know, I didn't know about these guys. I mean, I knew, like, about the Barbary pirates. I knew about the Ottomans and the whole... You know, the fight, but I didn't know about, like, this specific story. I assume this is at least somewhat true. 
Anyway, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching, and next up we'll be doing Christopher da Gama's Expedition 1542, so I guess we're just going chronologically, that makes sense. Uh, see you guys for that next time.